Um, uh, damn it. All right, I might as well get this one out of the way. For my first summer look, we have Gemai Sekats, or Days with My Stepsister. I'm likely going to butcher Japanese names, so feel free to mock me in the comments. I know nothing about the source material, so we're just going to be going off the synopsis and trailer for this one. It's going to be true for pretty much all my seasonal previews, because we're just doing quick looks. We're presented with a romance series where the new stepsister is instantly said to be the number one beauty of the school year. We then go on to talk about how they're going to become friends and potentially fall in love. So no doubts that this is going to be a story about how two step-siblings will fall in love. Hey, it's a popular porn category, so why not make more anime about it, right? Cynicism aside, I know better than just to assume the absolute worst in anime. Well, plenty of shows give me the worst and so much more. Plenty of others start with a premise I don't love, and then I enjoy the series quite a bit. Three such romance series, in fact, come to mind right away. First is The Dangers in My Heart, which I absolutely hate the premise to. Edgy loser wants to murder the popular girl. It's cringe. It sucks. The first episode kind of sucks. However, the second season just wrapped up and quite frankly might be my favorite stretch of episodes in a romance ever. Once the series gets past the original premise that I detested, it just keeps getting better and I adore it. But alright, that one really wasn't that taboo of a premise. Edgy is annoying, but it isn't step-siblings or, you know, say a huge age gap. Enter After the Rain which the premise of this is a romance series between a 17-year-old restaurant worker and her 45-year-old manager. Something that on paper is quite ick. Far more ick than a romance between two sepsiglins who you know just met. And yet, After the Rain is actually a solid romance series. Is it awkward at times? Yes. But despite the premise, it never really crosses the line to become an issue. It instead tells a solid character story that while you can't really root for the characters to get together, you root for them in other ways, and it manages to work quite well. Still, if we're looking for a step-sibling setup, well, that's nothing new. In fact, go back to the 90s for this one with Marmalade Boy. This main character learns that when her parents return from their vacation, that not only did they get a divorce, they did it because they met another couple who also got a divorce, and they did it because they wanted to marry each other. In the process, she now has a handsome stepbrother that she falls in love with. Sound kind of familiar? Well, my memories of that show are a bit fuzzy at this point. I watched it a while ago. But I remember having fun with the series despite the weird premise. Looking at the trailer to Days with My Stepsister, what stands out is the use of color. It brings me back to watching March Comes In Like a Lion, which has excellent use of color to show off loneliness and depression, and adding more color as others around the main character break down the barriers and start making the world feel alive again. It gives me the sense that our premise will not merely be a I lucked into a hot sister type, but instead a true character story that could be enjoyable. The score in Mal and the base story leads me to believe that as well. I can't really trust Mal scores, but they often give me a glimpse into such things. So, with that all in mind, Days With My Stepsister ends up being the first show of the summer season that I'm planning on checking out. Would it be a huge mistake? Sure! But the trailer and premise also gives me some hope that it'll be a decent character-driven romance where the characters will grow and change. Thus, I will get attached to the characters, and in a romance show, that's what I want. Characters I care about and want to root for.